the most technical football um, played in the world. Um, our game is more technical on the floor, pass it around, pace. Um, so, so that's one aspect of it. But I mean, we do. I mean, you were at the cup final. Um, the, the representative from Aston Villa was watching the cup final this season, and he was he was very complimentative on the way the two teams were playing. And I think I personally think it's a it's a, a matter of years before we do have one or two players from the Shapley League and from the, the London leagues breaking into one of these top division, um, four division teams. Like you're saying, Anwar Udin has made it. He was at the West Ham Academy, I think. Yeah. And, and he's played for a number of um, championship teams. Um, Zesh Rahman was another one. He used to play for Fulham. I don't know who's playing for now, but he played in the Premiership. So, I mean, they are breaking, breaking through. Harpel Singh was another one that used to play for Leeds. So, so to, to the caller, there are some coming through. But, um, I mean, Sporting Bengal is a football team that I know have actually played in the FA Cup. I mean, AFC Wimbledon, maybe they've got resources and, and other experience to try and come up the leagues. Um, and Sporting Bengal, maybe the, one of the first Asian teams to try and do that. But, I mean, it, it is moving along. And what we're trying to do is trying to... We we're second generation, third generation as well as ourselves. And we're From, trying to bring them through. Just to go on, on to that, just, I, I mean, I know you, you mentioned, like, Sporting Bengal... Uh, there is um, other clubs like London Tigers as well as uh, Bethnal Green United now who are also playing, uh, the Bangladeshi-led organisations are also playing semi-pro level as well. But is, is there any ambitious of, you know, a, a club from uh, Birmingham going forward? Because, uh, I mean, there, there is leagues in Birmingham, for example, the Midland uh, Football Alliance, for that, that, that's a semi-pro league itself. Mm -hmm. Also, you've got intermediate, uh, um, the Midland Regional League and uh, the Combination League as well. Uh, I mean, is there any intentions of some of your clubs? Do you encourage them to go f pursue forward uh, or, do, you, you know... I mean, I will be asking the no, questions no, no. to Aston Rangers <laughs> after. Because, uh, definitely. Uh, in, in, in fact, the there, there, is, there is some team playing Saturday League as well. And also, we, we, we're working on that to have a unified team to, uh, to play same professional league, which will be a uh, Shapless best 11 going to the uh, in a same professional league. We're working on that as well. you've got a balance of a lot of multicultural mm. players as well, a not necessarily just Asians. So. And as I said, the Saturday league there is playing. Hawk can answer that. He's playing the Saturday league as well. And going back to the colours, uh, there is we, there was a, um, a player who uh, was under 16, was on Billa's book as well. And then he had a problem. I don't know what was uh, to related. So he's no longer with them. Also, we managed to send one to the Port that was a long time ago and I think it's going back to the parents rule as well the parents don't support them you know uh, as the kind generation we do it right. uh, it's just like uh, this committee member uh, was willing to take them to the training session and the attention that that's how it was he wasn't you know uh, getting transportation let me come so, back to them yeah. because I want to talk to you about parents mm -hmm. and involvement and some of the younger ones We're, we've got another caller online let's see who's online hello salam alaikum well, salam. who's calling and what would you like to say uh, Baba, my name is Ali I'm uh, calling from East London Okay, what would you like to say? Uh, just, I've got a couple of questions actually. I just wanted to touch up on the brother that caller earlier on. He's talking about AFC Wimbledon. The uh, reason why they pushed up so quick is they've got like God knows how many thousand fans going to the game. Fans play a big key role into the promotions because fans bring in money. Now, we don't have that sort of fan base support through our Asian clubs. I mean, you've got Sporting Bengal, Bethnal Green, London Tigers. Um, if you look at, if you go to some of the games, you won't see more than 10 to 20 people, right? Um, so that's one one of it. And the other thing about why we don't have uh, big, uh, well, players playing from uh, professionals um, is because it's all to do with politics. With all these different clubs, they don't want to release the best players. But then if you look at the youth system, an academy system of a lot of the professional clubs, you will see there's a lot of Bangladeshis and Asians. Uh, are playing in those levels, but it's just the next step forward. I don't know what the problem is. Okay. All right, that's a fair point. I mean, just going back to, you know, what, what you were saying, I mean, you know, well, one of the things that you, you know, which I was going to talk to, uh, you know, Aston Rangers really, really when, when they come on, on to the next, the next half. But the issues are that the, the way AFC Wimbledon has gone through is they had a fan base. This is what the call is saying. And I, I'm, I'm aware of the system, how, the, how they've done things. And really, without the finances, you, you can't really progress forward in a, in a football league. That's one. But secondly, you know, de developing players. I mean, do you think that Chapla League is doing enough to develop players itself? You know, what's, what's well, your yeah, point of view? Of course we are. I mean, one of the reasons 
for not retaining the exclusivity of, of the league to, to you know retain it as a purely Bengali league was to improve the standards hence you know um, we opened it up to the other teams because the only way that you improve is by playing with good players and hence you know having a, an Afro Caribbean team a Pakistani team a Kurdish team uh, Yemeni teams we've got as well that all improves the standard and hence you know the Bengali players who are playing in those leagues improves them as well and gives them you know potential to what to is the situation on? with uh, you know younger age group players I mean you mentioned about Aston Villa scout being there and from my knowledge of w working with many scouts uh, really scouts don't look at oh, you know over 16 plus players they're, they're particularly a Premier League club now uh, working with loads of them around here in London uh, re realistically they're more interested in the 8 9 10 12 you know that kind of age, age group uh, what what is happening with the younger age groups in, in Birmingham at the moment? Ta ta I'm, I'm talking about the Bangladeshi young people in particular. I mean, I mean there are um, certain um, organisations in, in Birmingham um, that have sort of under 10, under 16 leagues. Um, presently, they've, they've contacted us to affiliate to the Chapla League to give them a bit more prominence and a bit, um, taken a bit more seriously with the parents. Um, it's something that's on the table. Um, and because of resources and, and time, we, we've not been able to, to move that any further. But it's something in the future that we are going to look at. Um, we're also I mean, looking at an over-35s league as well, because some players that play in the league don't really want to carry on playing because I mean, of the pace and the, the physical side of it. So we're actually looking at an over-35s league. But going back to your question about scouts and, and the younger generation, we are... I just, mean, we, we, we've got to go on the break, but mm -hmm. just before I go, just quickly, you need to answer me. All the 20 teams that you've got in the Shapla Football League, does any of them have any youth teams? Yes. A any of them, out of the 20, how many clubs w would you say has youth teams that they're, they're, they're focusing on developing youth players within the club? I'm not find probably about two or three. Real West Brom, okay. who didn't play this season, but they've, they've got structures, I think, three different levels. Um, and, and again, they're very organised. Um, they work a lot with the FA. Um, I think they've got an under-16. Um, another youth team, I think 16 to 18, and then a, a, an adult team as well. So are uh, these three that you, you mentioned, are, there, are they Bangladeshi clubs? No, I wouldn't say they're Bangladeshi, no. Then they're not. So, okay, so that's the point, point, point what I'm trying to say. I mean, we, we've got the leagues, right? It's not, it's not just in Birmingham, it's even, even in London. We, you know, up and down the country, I, I would say there's more than 200 plus, from my knowledge, you know, Asian clubs playing in to tournaments and leagues. And, you know, it, oh, I would say over 50% of them don't even concentrate on youth age group teams. And that's where it starts with developing players, because the Premier League clubs, scouts, and everybody else is looking at those younger talents to come in uh, to the players. Um, and hopefully we'll continue the, the discussion after and hopefully we're going to get the Aston Rangers uh, um, players here and I, th I think there's also a committee per person also going to come on board. Okay, well, uh, well, we'll see you straight after the break. Welcome back. Um, we were talking with some of the committee guys of Shapla Football League in Birmingham. Uh, they're one of the only Asian uh, Bangladeshi Football League in Birmingham, uh, incorporating with two divisions, with 20 teams. Predomin uh, predominantly, they're all Bangladeshi uh, football teams that are taking part. Um, we had to um, let go of uh, Shangir Ali and uh, also Mo Monju Chaudhary. We, we thank them for being there in the last programme. But we've got two new guests now. One of them is Abdul Hock, who's also a disciplinary secretary. Uh, in the Shapla Football League. Well, well, welcome on the program. Thank you so much. And then I'd like to welcome Shahed Hussein, who is the uh, manager for Aston Rangers. Uh, well, welcome on the program. Okay, just before we, we, we go into the discussion with our guest, there, there is a caller online. <coughs> so let's see uh, who's online. Hello, Salam Alaikum. Hello. Hello, Salam Alaikum. Can you hear me? Yes, uh, we can. What would you like to say? My name is Abayad Hussain. Um, I'm a representative of a team affiliated to the Shapa League called Salt Lake Italian Football Club. I just called, it, called up to the program just to say basically um, Shapa League have provided um, the Asian community, predominantly the Bengali community, uh, a great opportunity to play um, at a decent level of football. And um, I know it's definitely not at the same level of football as in uh, places like London or Luton, but we're slowly getting there. Um, I don't know, I'll represent one of the reasons. In question, in um, answer to your question you previously asked about these teams, we have actually got a team in place where we've got um, we're setting up on the eighth 
under cars and under 15 as well. Everything is in place for us to do our, you know, get our CRBs and our um, all the certificates in place so we can start this. Obviously, Shapla League is running 20 teams at the moment, and it's, it's difficult to run. It's difficult to run one team, let alone a whole league. So um, we appreciate what they're doing for us, and I think what they're doing so far for us is excellent. And we just hope it continues for years to come. Do you think while you're on the phone, do you think there's a, you know, like there was a large number of Asian population uh, in in Birmingham? Do you think there's a demand for younger children? Are they keen in football in in Birmingham? Think, this is think, for us to know, really, because we, we don't know that. Yeah, I think definitely they are definitely interested. There's youth out there who are interested in playing football. I think it's a market strategy that needs to be looked at in detail, I think, furthermore. And not to knock any of the committee members at all, because it's a lot of hard work. I think they need a lot of manpower and a lot of um, funding behind it as well, because a lot of, obviously, as you're probably aware of insurances, policies, etc. But I think there is a lot of youth who are definitely uh, interested in playing uh, at a decent level of football. And as you were saying before, if they're from a younger age, the opportunity to play gets started. And the best thing about the league, obviously, they, you know, they've got some sort of contract with the Aston Villa Football Club. And if, if younger players get a chance to train there, then there's always opportunities for them to, to get into clubs like Aston Villa or West Bram or Birmingham. Absolutely. I think, yeah, I mean, you, you, you're absolutely right. I mean, what do you think? I mean, you know, with, with clubs like, for example, you know, Aston Rangers, you know, do you have a youth team at, at the moment? Uh, no, not at the moment, no. Is, is there some demands? I mean, some of your players, you guys have been going on for a long time. I've, you know, I've known you guys for, for a long, long time now. Um, doesn't the older players have children or nephews that are growing up and they're crying out loud to be part of Aston Rangers? Uh, they do, but it's sheer commitment, you know, and hard work. To, to, to start up a youth team, you need a lot of foundations, you know, you need uh, a lot of structures, especially funding, and to get, get exactly the right place to be. It's a lot of time, and a lot of, you know, the older players who played, unfortunately, I think uh, they went to relaxing in life instead of came with football and ambition what they had. Okay, so let me just tell you how you know, things work down here. This is not just for the Asian community as a whole, this is mainstream. The Asian community, this is an issue even in London. It's not, you know, with, with the proportion with the adult teams, it's not the same with the youth teams. But in the mainstream, you know, the children's youth leagues that are running, most of it is all parents. The parents are running the, 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 the team itself. So they have someone to play, uh, they're coming forward. What is the problem with that, that, our, our us, you know, going forward in our own community that, to support that's that? That's probably one of the issues that we have as, as the Bangladeshi community. Our forefront, our parents, uh, you know, d didn't lead, lead us to go into mainstream football. And the youth of today is probably suffering because of that. But like, like I call it, um, said earlier, we're into our third generation, people are starting to realise, my kid is 14 years old. Because Aston Rangers don't have a youth team, I'm, I'm having to put him somewhere else where he's keen to go on. But everything, as, as we speak, it is on place. Everything is, is coming on board. We are looking into getting a youth team project going as a league, as teams, and we are, we are encouraging teams to do that. What do you think about yourself? I mean, you're, you know, you've got a son who's 14 years old. I'm going to pick on you now. You know, you, I saw you playing, having a run around in that cup final. Yeah, uh, know, what about you being a manager for your, uh, you know, for your son's under-14 team for Aston Rangers? I mean, you've been a dedicated player for Aston Rangers for a long time. Uh, does, doesn't it hurt you that your son is playing for another club and not Aston Rangers? Well, like Shade Bai said earlier, the resources we need, the founding, uh, foundation we need, money plays a big factor in there. Not only that, time, time scale as well. Uh, uh, as, as you may know, the Bangladeshi people plan to be uh, uh, play, uh, working in restaurants. So the time scale does play a huge part into that. Uh, I, I, do, I do envy my son not playing for Aston Rangers at this uh, age, because at, at his age, I, that's what I was doing. I was playing for Aston Rangers from the age of 11. But do you know if there's any other youth leagues that are running there? So say if, uh, say Aston Rangers now, uh, you know, after this programme, one player comes out so passionately and he wants to start up an under-13s team, where is he going to go in Birmingham? Is, is, is there any youth leagues in Birmingham that he can, he can go and take part in? There's plenty of youth teams, there's plenty of park leagues, plenty of uh, dedicated leagues that is uh, for youth under 12, under 13. You know, there's a festival league, the Birmingham Youth League. I myself played Birmingham Youth League when I was 13. I played Castlevale League when I was 10. So there, there is plenty of league going. But the fundamental so, thing is, uh, Mr. Bai, we as Bangladeshi, an Asian community, we did not look into 
getting a youth foundation. What we did is looked at adult leagues, how we could uh, benefit from it. But what we, what we need to do now is start thinking how the younger generation is going to benefit. And we as a league are looking into that. We as a league are encouraging the team, the 20-odd team. Last year we had 30 teams. We but do I think I'm, gonna, I'm, not, you know, I'm, I'm asking you the question with, with the league's point of view, okay. but really, to be honest with you, the league has got enough to do. You